last episode, I promised you who we were going to be facing in the Champions League. I also said uh, whether we'd get through the FA Cup and if we got to the semi-final. Probably guess how that's turned out. But join me after the intro to see if your suspicions are correct. Spoiler alert, they are. The last few games haven't boded particularly well for our young, homegrown Hotspurs. And yes, hello and welcome back to Homegrown Hotspur. We followed up the resounding victory against Sporting with a rather lacklustre appearance against a Championship QPR in the sixth round of the FA Cup. Losing on penalties, missing three of four. A 2-1 away loss at Bournemouth did no help to our chances of qualifying for the Champions League. However, we've come back romping with a 4-0 victory away at Dortmund. Ridiculous. I don't understand this nonsense. With that victory, we saw some minor changes to the formation, which has slightly annoyed me because now I've got to change my After Effects nonsense. For goodness sake, making your work hard all the time. We expected Dortmund to attack from the off at home, and attack they did. A change at half-time meant four goals in the second half. One from Berahino, three from Kane. Absolutely delightful. And that was with having to rest players because of stupid suspensions. Do you want to know what the game is today? Well, you should have already seen it. It's the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final against Dortmund themselves. In other slightly less Tottenham-related news, Arsenal have appointed Andries Jonker as their interim manager. Because they sacked Arsene Wenger. I mean, Arsenal TV are going to be going nuts. You think what they'll do when Jack Wilshere signs for Tottenham in the summer. That's happening. I've asked the comment section. You all said it was fine. This is your second chance. If it's not fine, let me know. I'm assuming it's going to be fine, though. And I'll probably ignore you and just do what I want anyway. Because my save my rules. YOLO. That, I don't know what that was. I'm a mess. And whilst we are focusing on the Champions League today, let's have a look at the Premier League table. As it's been a while since we took a little peek. Yes, we're still in fifth. And that is marvellous. Only by the skin of our teeth, we do have a game in hand against some of the other teams in the league. But that is against Newcastle, my nemesis. Do you remember what happened last time? Yeah, that 3 all draw. Nonsense. No one is still catching United. Chelsea are 12 points behind. There is only six games to go. Yeah, sewnup.com. The team to take on Dortmund today then is Forster in goal. A back four of Davies, Lascelles, Carter Vickers and Walker. Davies coming in for the injured Rose. Following the change of formation, Hughes, Ali and Dyer make up that midfield trio. Berahino and Gray are playing out wide. And then Kane is again up top on his own. Martin Hunter has delivered the team talk expertly as per usual. We will start the match whilst we look at this delightful little thing of Wembley. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely tremendous. This is what football is all about. Dortmund playing some weirdly defensive formation despite them needing four goals. Now, we actually played Dortmund in the group stages. So it's only apt that we then go ahead and play them in, well... The, uh, the knockout stages, they didn't really perform as I kind of expected them to. Yes, they attacked, but Berahino is trying to put Gray in, and Berkey tips it wide, fortunately for Dortmund. Can they really afford to go a further goal down? No. I mean, I didn't really think this really justified a commentary. It could be done. Well, it could have been done the first leg, but um, Demar Gray's offside. I thought, hmm, this sets up a bottle job absolutely perfectly. Dortmund are more than capable of scoring four goals in a game any day of the week. And Dyer is on the edge of the area. And oh, I thought that was going to be a bit more frantic than uh, it was. Struggling to gain possession from Dortmund so far in this. 42 of it to Tottenham, despite being the home side. Although it doesn't look like Dortmund are really doing an awful lot with it. 
just sitting in their own half, doing nothing. You've got four goals to get. Wakey, wakey. Guerrero plays the ball in. And Bamiang, and oh my God, Carter Vickers goes to ground. Fortunately, not managing to take down the man before he gets to the ball. And uh, it's it's cleared, although we're, they're dallying around with it in their own half. Guerrero plays the ball into Royce. Royce running down the left-hand side. Carter Vickers goes to ground again. He is playing dicing with death games right there. Berahino was on a yellow card. Didn't even realise he got booked. He's played the ball inside to Deli Alley. Just on the 18-yard box, he strikes for goal and Berkey's there. Berkey Burke. Is it Burkle? I, I can't really see it. Davis plays the free kick short to Dyer and he's... I don't know what it is with his long shots, but I wish he would stop them and stop them right away. Great camera angle for a corner. Berahino, uh, it is Berkey. We've clarified that at least from that ridiculous corner. Dyer into Deli Alley. Now Deli Alley can manage to find great Kane. Um, I don't know what's gone on there. At halftime, not a lot has gone on. We could stick to just counter and let let the game fizzle out, but. Let's move it up to standard. I'm not too keen on just resting on our four-goal aggregate lead. Let's go get some more, shall we? Hunter, carry on doing what you've been doing. I I don't know if that's what he should be saying to them. Shit. Let's hope we can nick another goal and not have any more... Ca Look at the job. Get him off. Get him off. That was horrendous. Berahino had his wings going and yellow cut, is that it? Referee, have a word with yourself. Davis with the, doesn't even get to take the free kick. Now that's just not very fair. Berahino whips the corner in and the ball is cleared. That that camera angle does not help. And Dyer with a oh, diabolical, it's, it's gone past Dyer now. It's been ascended to diabolical. I'm really confused by Dortmund's real, well, uh-oh, Royce is in and Forster is there, spreading himself wide. No. I won't finish that sentence. Damari Gray charging down that right-hand side. Look at his little legs go. Look at him go. He's run the entire length of the pitch. And we've managed to get a rather fortunate corner from that silly deflection. Berahino now whipping the ball in. Uh, he's not being the first man. Ashley Youngitis, once again, is prevalent. Carter Vickers does well there. Road. We've got, there's a microphone on the pitch. Does everyone want to have a word? Yeah, in the microphone. No? Fine. Tenuous... Tenuous joke. He's on the ball again, though. Paslak. Is that even how you say that? I don't know. It, that's how it's spelt. Road again. Hey, ooh, Forster. Very fortunate with that one. Just just give up. The last five minutes of the match, we brought on Joe Ledley, Marcus Edwards and a phobie for Dyer, Gray and Kane. Let's just waste a bit of time. Hopefully, we can go into this with a clean sheet, with our heads held very high and on to the semi-finals where we could face Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid. Scary teams, basically. And Car Walker's managed to get a yellow. This referee is beyond card happy. And that is it. Dortmund are out. Put out by, well, the homegrown Hotspurs. Marvellous. Well, we've done we've done well. I we didn't really play particularly, no goals, but there was a bit of action. But more importantly, we are through to the Champions League semi-finals. When are the when when's the draw? When's the draw? Wow! Just looking at the goal scorers, Cristiano Ronaldo just made up a name. It's Cristiano. Fourteen goals for the season. We've only just reached the semi-finals. Gamero's got nine. Lewandowski got nine. Suarez, nine. Dybala, eight. And uh, everyone else is irrelevant now. But my word. Dennis Alabek, eight. Look at all those yellow cards. The referee was the centre of the match. No one else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine yellow cards. When's this draw? When is it? When is the draw? Oh, hello. We're going we're gonna to hold tight and see who we draw. Oh, yes, we bloody well are. 5.59 million pounds. Thank you very much, Mr. Levy. Once again, rather happy with the amount of money that's coming into the club. What a surprise. Today is the day out of Spurs, Juventus, Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. Who are we going to draw? We're about to find out very surely, like now. Literally now, it's happening now. Juventus are drawn at home. Of course. Of course it is. Bollocks. <sighs> 
Why? Why do you have to do it? To be fair, neither of those would have been nice to play. Oh, Dybala is going to tear my defence to pieces. No! I'm uh, confident that we can get the win against Juventus, obviously. If you've enjoyed this episode of Homegrown Hotspur, please pop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you very, very soon for more Premier League action and, of course, the Champions League semi-final coming very shortly into your faces and eye ocular regions and things. I'll stop talking now. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.